This video is sponsored by Boxu. more on them later. I haven't done a Happy Home Paradise video in a hot minute, and although I claimed and I wish that I was done with interior decorating after my extreme makeover uh, video for my house. Happy Home Paradise is just different, you know? It's just, it just hits different. I don't actually have to work for the items, so that actually makes me want to play it. Something that I've seen a few people do is go back and redo some of their first Happy Home Paradise builds. Because when you start off, you start off with way less features and like items and stuff. So the first few houses that you do, you're kind of just like getting your feet wet and just like getting the hang of things. So I thought it would be fun to go back and redo my very first ever Happy Home Paradise build and just see how we can improve it. Another thing I'm always trying to improve is my snack game. I am that person who cannot eat the same thing over and over. I need new stuff to spice it up all the time. So that's why I'm so excited to tell you about Boxu and what they do. Boxu is a monthly subscription box that delivers premium Japanese snacks straight from Japan or right to your door. The first box that you get is called Seasons of Japan and it's kind of like a taste of Japan's four seasons and it just gives you kind of like an idea of what a year of Boxu would look like. Every month after that is a themed box just like this one packed with snacks, a little cultural booklet that tells you about all the flavors and where your snacks come from, the theme, and it even has has a couple of Japanese words and phrases that you can learn. This one's theme is Boxu Tanjobi, which means birthday. I learned that in the in the little booklet. Thank you, Boxu. Boxu is celebrating their sixth birthday, so happy birthday, Boxu. So this box is full of member favorites and staff picks, and I'm really excited about it because I feel like I'm getting like the best of the best, you know? I really love that Boxu partners with 100 plus year old snack makers, so you know that every snack selection is authentic. I really enjoy that, and with Boxu, I can can experiment and like try new snacks every month like these mochi truffles i really want to try these so it looks like they're strawberry flavored so i'm gonna go ahead and like open this up and we can try one together they come in like their own little tray and it comes with a little toothpick so you can like eat it a little bit easier so i'm gonna go ahead and just stab one that's so good it's a little messy that's why they give you the toothpick i'm gonna have another one <laughs> I'm supposed to be recording a video but i just kind of want to sit here and eat the rest of these can we do that <laughs> so if you would like to try a fun themed japanese snack box just like this one and you know support the channel at the same time go ahead and use my link down below in the description and use code froggy for 15 dollars off of your order and now let's get into the remodel okay so we're out here on happy home paradise i actually have look at who i have i have this one which is you know i feel like significant ish i don't know but we're gonna head inside to lottie hello hello good morning besties we got nothing that i really want for sale so i i just need to work i gotta go talk to nico any excuse to talk to my boy any excuse i think everybody's first client correct me if i'm wrong but i think everybody's first client is Eloise and her relaxing reading room. So we're gonna head to Eloise's house and this picture already looks sad. I'm already like, girl, you, <laughs> she needs a makeover for sure. I didn't even decorate the outside. What? My very first Happy Home Paradise home and I just completely neglected it. Oh my goodness. I feel so bad for Eloise. She's just out here like in the middle of the ocean, like abandoned with nothing and she has absolutely nothing on her yard. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. How's your home? She's like, um, why do you ask? Because she knows that it's bad, but she doesn't want to like admit it to me in front of my face. It's okay. Listen. Let's talk about remodeling. She says, what a wonderful idea. I leave it all up to your impeccable design sensibilities. I feel like that's passive aggressive. That seems very passive aggressive, but you know what? I kind of deserve it because I left her without an outdoor yard. So you know what? I, I accept the passive aggression. I accept it. Oh, there's like a little rainbow. Oh my goodness. There's a double rainbow in the back and she has a completely just barren wasteland of a front yard. The potential that I have wasted for poor Eloise. All right, so I'm gonna scooch her house over a little bit and then we're gonna switch it up, give her something cute because I feel really bad. Like I feel really, really bad for her. Okay, this is what I'm giving her for her house. Kind of like match her colors a little bit. She's got the green dress, she's got, you know, the yellow and she's got the little brown hair. So that's what I went with for the house. I think it looks great. Let's give her this like log wall fence. I'm kind of channeling like, just a little bit cottage core vibes, just a teensy bit. I feel like that will be really cute. So I'm gonna give her one on each side, I'll leave a little opening, and then let's do like this. Perfect. We'll give her like a little 
like a little side yard, you know? Then let's give her some trees. I'm thinking coconut tree because like it's kind of yellowy and kind of green. So it's the Eloise tree, I guess. Confirmed, coconut trees are Eloise. It would be really nice to fit one on this right side, but I cannot. So I guess we can put it here. Eloise, uh, sweetie, why are you like all the way in the back right here? Can you, <laughs> can you move please? I'm gonna put you over here. I wanna give her like a little fountain or something like in the side of her yard. Oh, a little bench would be cute too. Okay, I'm liking this little like well. I'm gonna shove it like in this little corner, can we? We can put it here. Why can't we put it to the, just, I just wanna move it one space over, please. Okay, it can go right next to her house. I'll, I'll take that. But I think I'm gonna change the color. Not really digging that. Let's just go with like the regular, yeah, I like that better. And then let's do like a little bird bath back here. I feel like that's real cute. And then of course, custom designs galore. I'm gonna put a puddle there. I'm gonna put a puddle there. Do I put too many puddles in my builds? Some might say so, some might say so, but you know what, I don't say so. I say there's never enough. There's never enough. Then I'm gonna give her some in-game pathing and I'm just gonna put this all around her house there we go so just kind of like that had to uh remove my face cam for a sec because i'm kind of covering it but hello i'm back <laughs> then i feel like these little this like little banner would be so fun if we can fit this kind of like on the right side somewhere i don't know if it's supposed to face this way but we're gonna do like <laughs> we're gonna put it like right there along with some bushes let's do one of those over there and then if I can, yes, just fit one right there. This is looking good so far. I really like it. So poor Eloise. I, re I really did feel so bad for her. So I'm really happy that she's finally getting, you know, a yard. I feel like Eloise is a very like roses type of girl. So I'm going to give her some roses, maybe like just some some little ones right there. And then I'm thinking this like little corner area that we have, I want to do... Like one of those big fountains that I was seeing. Is this cheating by using these humongous items just to take up space? I don't think it is. I really don't. I'm gonna put this little path like this. And then I'm gonna get some more custom designs. Let's do a little puddle back here. A little sneaky puddle. Some of these yellow flowers. Oh yes, these are perfect. Let's put some right there. And maybe some like peeking out over there. Cute. I'm gonna put a little watering can right here in front of the roses. Like she's about to water them. I feel like we need like a bench or something. I was saying we need a bench, but then I just didn't grab one. Um, but I am gonna put this hose reel over here. Let's do like a little simple log bench. I feel like this is good. I'm gonna turn it this way, put it right under these trees. And then I wanna do some more fencing. I'm gonna go in with this log fence, aka Harv's fence and just put it all along there i feel like i do this in like every single happy home paradise build i just put fences like on the first like little section like that okay and then the area that my face cam is covering this little section over here is looking a little bit empty so i think i'm gonna do like a little diy bench here because you know maybe she's crafty she's a crafter and give her a little log stool to match the log bench over here and then i think some tools just kind of like around the area would be good like maybe she's crafting and she's using these tools for something thing so i'm gonna put that very scary axe there and then we'll do this like cute little yellow shovel and then oh i like this little basket i'm just gonna yeah oh wait that's that's microscopic okay forget it i was gonna say i like that but i actually don't because that is way too small let's just put a piece of wood instead like she's using she's doing some crafting recipes i guess okay so there we go that's how it's gonna be i'm still trying to keep it like kind of simple kind of basic just because you know it's our first house i still want to keep in that theme you know i don't want to make this like super overly complicated just a little upgrade for her you know and this is her first upgrade actually having a yard <laughs> okay so now let's go inside and let's see what i have in here i don't really remember so this is gonna be interesting for me to see oh okay Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. I just know I can do better. I do see that, you know, I use some of the new features. I use the ceiling decor. I use the accent wall. So, you know, there's that. Good. Good good start. Okay, so I think I'm going to mostly clear. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to... We're gonna get rid of everything super quick. But let's go for a different vibe. Let's actually change the floor. Um, I kind of like this. I'm gonna go for like kind of like a library cottage core kind of vibe. I'm kind of feeling that. I mean, I think it's kind of a no-brainer to use this wall. It's a little bit on the dark side, which I don't usually lean towards. I like to keep it pretty, pretty bright. 
So maybe we'll brighten it up a little bit with like a white tile flooring. And then if we are going to have an accent wall, I'm not digging this plain yellow. So let's do something else. So I'm thinking one of these window walls would be really nice, you know, just to kind of like open it up and like have it be a little bit bright. So either this one or this European style one or the cafe curtain wall or the arched window wall. I'm liking this one, even though it's black and the bookshelves are kind of like brown, but whatever. And I'm gonna keep the room the same size too, because like I was saying, I don't want like a complete total, like, like bulldoze everything, you know? I just want like some improvements. So we're gonna keep it the same size. Also because the bigger the room is, the more I struggle. And then I think some lighter furniture will also help, you know, like brighten it up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna try to make this like a little nook. Actually, I'm gonna put the side table here. And since the partition walls, you know, are gonna be like the cool book uh, wallpaper, I'm gonna use those as like, bookshelves i guess does that work does that work i think it works and then it's kind of like you know you're surrounded by library shelves and i just think that's kind of cool okay so i think in this little empty spot that's here i want to put like a really comfy looking chair i'm just gonna do this like rattan armchair since it matches the little side table that i put there and then on the side table if we're sitting down and we're reading and we're chilling guarantee you somebody brought some coffee like either some starbucks like a cute little starbucks drink or their regular coffee i don't know but somebody brought their coffee to read with their book to drink with their books somebody brought their coffee to drink with their books while they read their books <laughs> and then i'm gonna put like a little coffee table even though it's kind of a squeeze but this is aesthetics okay it's not supposed to be functional this is for the aesthetics, you guys, okay? So we got our stack of books. We got our open books being read. I am very much liking that. And then I feel like this wall is gonna be a little bit tricky because like, I just don't know what else I can possibly squeeze in here. So I'm just gonna put like this low board thing. Like maybe it's like a steppy thing that you can step on to get to the books that are higher up. I don't know, just pretend whatever you want it to be go ahead then i'm gonna put a nice decorative little plant shove it in the corner love shoving plants in corners one of my favorite pastimes and then before i move on to the little like next little nook over there i'm going to give this some decorations on the walls i'm gonna do yellow some little a little tiny pop of eloise yellow and then maybe just like some art up here i don't really know this isn't necessarily a library but it's i don't i don't know if this is also like a house I don't really know what it is. I'm just going with it. The decor may not make total sense, but if it looks nice, then that's really all that I care about right now. Putting these Happy Home Academy plaques on this side, I feel like that looks very official and very like library-y. <laughs> Ooh, I totally didn't even think about putting some paintings like this. I'm gonna put this over here in the corner and I'm gonna put another plant kind of like right here by all of the little seating areas. And then on this side, I don't know, I'm feeling like fireplace vibes. I feel like this fireplace is very nice. So I'm gonna do that maybe on this wall right here. And then I'm thinking just a desk, just kind of, I don't know, reading, studying kind of desk. I feel like that works. So I'm gonna add some more little books on there. And we have some space on top of the fireplace to add things. I was looking at this like simple picture, like this little framed photo. I feel like that's really cute. So I'm gonna put that right on top along with this bad boy because I just feel like it adds to the vibe. It definitely adds the vibe. And then yes, I'm going to add a third plant over in this corner. Like I said, I, I love to shove them in corners. What can I say? You know, I warned you, I warned you. And then a really simple office chair for the desk right there. And then I think let's do the wall stuff and then we'll pretty much be done. Another pop of yellow under these couches and let's do like another like little tiny mat somewhere. I like this one under the desk, kind of like that. I'm just gonna do some really simple polishing. I don't really, I don't really know how to utilize pol polishing that well. I feel like there's so many cool things you could do with it. Yeah, I just do the same basic things. I don't even use the custom ones. I mean, whatever, it's something, right? It's something. I will keep the name as is, just as a homage to the to the original. All right, let's see what we got. It's my relaxing reading room for Eloise. We got the cute little lounge area looking real nice. Beautiful shot, beautiful. I love zooming in on that furniture. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty actually. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Eloise, I hope you love it. I think it was a definite improvement for sure. For sure. I mean, to be fair, when you start, like I was saying, when you start off your first room, you don't have a lot to work with. So just I have so much, so much more I can do now that I've, you know, pretty much reached the end of Happy Home Paradise. So it was just, it's a definite improvement. It's an improvement. All right. She wants me to take some pictures. I will do that. Yes. Yes. I'm going to take a little pic like this and then let's get the other side as well. Oh, I forgot to put anything on the ceiling. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, it still looks good. I'm too lazy to go back and do that. All right, we're done here, Eloise. <laughs> I hope you don't need any ceiling decor. Sorry. <laughs> that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you want to see me do any more Happy Home Paradise videos, let me know. Toss me some ideas. I would love to do some. If you want to see any more like challenges or anything, I do love me a good challenge. So challenge me down below in the comments. But anyway, I'm going to get going. Don't forget to check out Boxu and use my code in the description, my link in the description, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.